Stone Basin is the most beautiful jungle in Belize, where thousands of species of animals live in peace and harmony. But Coxcomb Basin had a problem, their self-proclaimed king. The species of animals in Coxcomb Basin needed help, and they needed help fast. But who was brave enough to challenge the king? We'll find out in this book. The King of Coxcomb Basin Written, illustrated, and narrated by me, Carrie Stillett. Jerry Jaguar was the king of Coxcomb Basin. He was stubborn, mean, and bossy. The other animals feared him, and because of this, they abided by all of Jerry's laws of the jungle, even if the laws were senseless. One sunny summer day, Jerry Jaguar called an urgent meeting. He jumped on the highest rock and roared to signal the others that the meeting was about to begin. Howler monkeys, yellow-headed parrots, keelbill toucans, tapirs, crocodiles, and ocelots all gathered to listen to their king speak. Some were hoping that he had good news about food and clean water, while others already knew that nothing good was coming to Coxcomb Basin under Jerry Jaguar's leadership. I, your king, am here to pass a new law. His voice rumbled. Today, Kevin Kinkaju was caught sneaking out of my kitchen with food. Jerry shouted to the crowd. All the other animals gasped as they turned their faces in the direction where Kevin Kinkaju was standing. He stood there, quietly, with his head held down in shame. I was only trying to feed my children. And you are the only person who has food in the entire jungle. Kevin Kinkajou uttered to the king. Silence! shouted Jerry Jaguar. Tomorrow, because of your treachery, every Kinkajou in Coxcomb Basin will be thrown in the river to meet their debt. All the Kinkajous screamed as they held each other and cried in agony. The other animals thought this punishment was very unfair, but no one was brave enough to stand up to Jerry Jaguar. Now, Tommy Goff, a well-known snake and community leader, was hiding in a mahogany tree, listening to Jerry Jaguar boosting his ego with yet another ridiculous law. Tommy was exiled from the jungle because he had once challenged Jerry Jaguar to the throne after speaking out against his foolish laws and punishments. Enough is enough, Tommy said to himself, as he wrapped his body around one of the tree's branches to get closer to see the commotion. Tomorrow I will teach Jerry a lesson. The next day, Tommy Goff went to see Jerry Jaguar. The king was astonished by his visit, because they had not spoken to each other in over ten months. What do you want? roared Jerry Jaguar. My king... I have some very disturbing news. There is a jaguar threatening to take over your throne, said Tommy. And why should I believe you? shouted Jerry Jaguar. You once wanted my throne too. I know, my king, and I was wrong to do so, for you are a kind and compassionate king, Tommy responded cleverly. Enough of the chattering, shouted Jerry Jaguar. Take me to see this jaguar at once. Tommy and Jerry hopped on a boat and headed to the great blue hole to confront the jaguar that wanted to take Jerry Jaguar's throne. He lives out in the blue hole, explained Tommy Goff, and you wouldn't believe he's already wearing a crown just like yours. Arrgh! Jerry Jaguar growled with anger. He was furious about someone challenging his power. The boat came to a stop as they arrived at the great blue hole. If you look into the water, you will see him staring back at you, Tommy told Jerry. The king peeped over the boat into the water and to his surprise, the jaguar was there looking at him. Jerry Jaguar growled at the jaguar and the jaguar growled back at him. This made him so angry that he sprang to attack the jaguar. At this point, he began sinking deeper and deeper to the bottom of the blue hole, for what he thought was a jaguar 
was merely his own reflection. His ignorance had led him to his own destruction. Later that day, Tommy Goff returned to the Coxcomb Basin to share the news with all the animals. They all celebrated the joy of being free from a horrible king. Everyone thanked Tommy Goff for his heroic act and made him the new king of Coxcomb Basin. <laughs>